Oh, yeah, we did the mermaid thing. I forgot about that. Mermaid doll. A slip of paper is peeking out of its tummy. I am yours, even in death. Mermaid Princess. Long, long time ago, the mermaid princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the sea kingdom. Who would ever want to become an ugly woman like her? I am yours, even in death. Interesting. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend. And so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she'd never forget it again. It also says the kid drawings in this game are really good. Everlasting true love, I am yours. Okay. <laughs> sure, let's save. So we're, we're through August now. I'm wondering... Man, it's been almost two weeks since we last played. I didn't even think about that. Uh, I'm wondering... Hmm. I'm wondering how many... Uh, how many months there are. Because now we're in October, which is interesting. We skipped a month. I could really go for some coffee right now. <laughs> this is unrelated. <laughs> unrelated to Jennifer waking up. Just feeling a cup of coffee. Oh, am I in control? I am. All right, so we were doing like storybooks here, weren't we? So there's no storybooks left. So that's fine. <laughs> oh, she got dragged back in. Would I like to save? Sure, I just saved. But why not? Watch it pass like another month. Oh, rag princess. No, gingerbread. And now we're back in June? Oh, is this... Are we remembering things that happened before? Is that what's going on? That's interesting. Willem says, glad I started drinking caffeinated coffee again. Yeah, I like, I like coffee a lot. Um... I like it. It's good for your liver, so you don't put a bunch of bad stuff in it. Kettle says, time progresses backwards when I save. Yeah, so I think the, the, the non-storybook sections take place in October, and then the storybook sections take place periodically before that. At least that's my guess. Yeah, yeah. When the unlucky girl awoke, she was in a rose garden. The place was strange, but familiar. Looking around, the girl noticed that her faithful companion was missing. <gasps> no dog! The lonely, unlucky girl became very sad. Okay, so this is this going to be a section where we actually have to play the game and we don't just have the dog bring us everywhere? Interesting, the camera won't change angles here. It's like it wants to, but it doesn't have room. Huh. There we go. <laughs> I guess that's an angle. Back here. It's shut and you can't go any further. Mom says, coffee absolutely got me through the last couple days and helped me finish recent models. I mean, whatever works, right? Uh, coffee, coffee gives me life. I try not to drink, um, like soda or juices very frequently, like sugary. I, I try not to drink sugar, basically is what I'm saying. Um, I like, I like a milkshake and stuff like that, but like, that's like a special treat. Um, and I'll have like a Coke at like a restaurant, but unless I'm like actively sitting 
and, and you know, eating a meal or something, I'm not going to have, like, a soda. Um, but e even when I like, uh, or even when I drink, you know, like, a root beer or something on stream, it's always, like, a zero-calorie, sugar-free soda, like a, like a Zevia or, or stuff like that, so... Spark Zero, Coke Zero, that sort of thing. You can barely read the faded name on the old mailbox. Gregory M. Wilson. Okay. He was like the the spooky guy, I think. It's over here. I'm hearing voices. In game, I mean. Huh. I like to call stuff like that out just because I know sometimes the sound mix doesn't come through for you all because I have to turn down the game audio a little bit. Yeah, you can hear someone talking in the house. Oh, Sage. Uh... <laughs> Sage says, I can't stick around since my Lancer campaign is about to start, but I wanted to say hi and wish you luck. And then they redeemed ad time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> it's kinda, ooh. Okay. Is this a weapon? Okay. Lever, doll legs, airship map. I think we can probably get rid of some of this stuff, right? Because we don't... I, I keep forgetting that we can just drop stuff and it appear in the garbage. Like, we don't need the, the airship map. We're not on the airship. What do you think is better, the shovel or meat cleaver? Uh, probably meat cleaver is my guess. The swing is broken. Only one of the rotting ropes is still intact. Okay. Well, I guess we can go in through the front. It occurred to me that there might've been a back door there that I just didn't pay attention to, but. Just try to head inside. Oh, okay, we can go in. Nice. Yeah, someone's talking. He's going through the days of the week. On Thursday, repeated kicks and screams. Friday... There is the pig outside. Hmm. The color has faded, so it's difficult to tell whether it's a drawing or a photo. Uh, that looks like like a religious. Looks like a picture of like the Virgin Mary, doesn't it? <laughs> like a painting. It all says in real life, I would go shovel. You get distance and can dig a hole if needed. Well, how convenient. All right. Let's see. I don't want to go too far down the hallway without exploring these doors. Huh. Kind of spooky. All right. Let's, uh, I guess we'll just go down the hallway now. Is this a, oh, this is a closet. Okay. A coat with mud on it is hung in the closet along with a hat. Not too bad. Is there anything here? No. That's the side door, right? Didn't these doors have a... This is just going to go outside. Oh, no. Little Soldier's Barracks. Uh, where the hell is this? What is this? There's a large box. Okay. This, uh, the background music here reminds so much like, it sounds so much like a Castlevania song, like the start of a Castlevania song. Like maybe the Alchemy Lab or something. I don't remember exactly. Ooh, can we hop through here? <laughs> Climbing through the window, the girl found herself in a room full of floating toys. Oh, hey, piecemeal. Welcome. The toys wait patiently for their master. I missed, uh, I missed a word because I looked at chat. Oh, Colonel's here. Hey, Colonel. 
let's see. A creepy old toy figure stares up at the sky. There are toy airships and airplanes. Toy pilots. Whoever's room this was, he must have loved all things that can fly. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything... Oh, can I pick these up? Eerie toy soldiers patiently await their commander's return. Okay, so I can't go in there. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing. It seems like this is just repeating. Hmm. All right, so I guess we'll just keep exploring. My digital nine says hello. Hello, welcome. All right, let's see. I guess we'll just go one by one into all the rooms. Another spooky vision, I guess. Is this a different person or is this the same guy? A digital says, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Excited to get back to Ruler Rose. Uh, it's been a week since, well, technically two weeks since we last played it, but... What's in here? June 1929. There are strange symbols on certain days of the calendar. Hmm. The dirty pool of water at the bottom of the tub looks almost like blood. Oh, I can I can interact with the toilet. Interesting. Just open and close though. Go in here. Did I just turn around by accident? No. Okay. So every single room is just him and a lazing around, I guess. Stray dog walks the streets. Oh no, the camera swapped. I'm gonna have no idea where I am. What's in here? Basement. Okay. Tuesday, he bags the pea. Come Wednesday, he shows the pea to his son. Come Thursday, the pea kicks and screams. Come Friday, he grinds up the pea. Come Saturday, he buries the pea outside. The pea? The pea is in hmm. the ground. The pea is in the ground. <laughs> Ah, welcome home. It's almost bedtime for you. That's like almost an effective. <laughs> Good night, Joshua. Uh, it's almost an effective, like Silent Hill type interaction. It's over here. Okay. Look under the blanket. Uh, sure. A boy's shirt, pants, and shoes have been neatly laid out on the bed. For some reason, Jennifer felt a sudden pain in her chest. Well, that's all that. I interrupt with this. A bundle of letters were hidden under the bed sheets. 10th November. To Mr. Joshua, the bear in distress. My name is Wendy. I always watch you from the sky, Mr. Joshua. Why are you trapped down here? 27th November, from Wendy to Joshua. My prince in need of rescue. It was my pleasure to meet you, my dear prince. What a wonderful encounter. Yes, I only wish there was a world for just you and I, the prince and the princess. Don't worry, I'll set you free. 9th January, from Wendy to Jay. Oh, my poor, kind prince. You're worried because that man sometimes seems crazy, right? Well, don't worry. I know where he hides, that awful thing of his. So let's run away together. You can leave it all to me. Everything will be all right. 
20th January from W to J. My prince, please don't worry. I'll do anything for you. Just pledge your love for me. That's all I ask. 27th January from Wendy to Josh. Thank you, my eternal prince. Tomorrow night I shall unlock your shackles. Let us live together forever. Everlasting true love, I am yours. Is this Wendy? What do I have to do? Is there something? A newspaper clipping is pinned up. Luxury airship missing. England's largest luxury airship, which just set sail on its virgin flight. The flight celebrated across the country with great fanfare, was reported today to have gone off course and is currently missing. It is speculated that the vessel diverted from its course to avoid a low-pressure system approaching from the south, but its whereabouts are still unknown, due to the heavy thunder and rain that have blanketed the area since yesterday. The search for the airship has faced many difficulties. Can't interact with that. Can't interact with that. Can I do anything? Oop. Can I, like, get the bear? Because it wiggles. We just have to keep playing with this? Yes. Okay. Classic. Classic puzzle. Interact with the thing that does nothing multiple times to get it to do something. Okay. An adorable teddy bear with a green ribbon tied around its neck. So interesting. So we're getting a lot of... So we're getting ribbons, which we've... Uh, which we've obtained before. We're learning more about Joshua who is, uh, I think, maybe the little boy, the evil prince. So I'm wondering if we're supposed to be Wendy, but I'm not sure. But clearly he's running away from whatever the heck is happening here. Sam asks, uh, is this my first time? Yes, this is my first time playing this game. Well, technically it's our third session or fourth session with it, but... <laughs> Stay right there. I'll help you out. Oh, that's... Huh. Okay. Well, never mind. Never mind my theories, I guess. Do I need to... Oh, okay, I can't leave here. Who's that a picture of? Bundle of letters, blah, blah, blah. We've already gotten these. I guess that, that letter looks like it could have been Wendy. Can I get it in frame again? Probably not kind of hard. Uh, what do I do? Do I just interact? No. You said to wait. Do I literally just have to sit here? Huh. There we go. Uh, Jennifer, I unlocked the door. I'll come, or I'll keep a lookout, so come right away. Is that money on the ground? Damn. Why are they dropping bills everywhere? Uh, I guess we'll just go up here. I guess we're probably, there's the rest of the other hallway that we haven't gone down yet. Let's run away before the man comes back. Before we go, we should find that dangerous thing and take it with us. It's for his own good. Oh shit, am I gonna get his gun? Hell yeah. Did you go in here? Sam says, are Kringles my favorite snack? Uh, no, but if you are curious what my favorite snacks are, you can check out the snack food tier list that we did on my YouTube channel. What's this? The backyard looked more like it was raised rather than plowed. Okay. I'm fine now. Let us go, shall we? Books, ink, cigarette butts. These are some of the things on the disorganized desk, along with the picture frame. It's faded in spots, but the picture is of a happy family. Hmm. Yeah. The, uh, 
camera angles. I, I hate them. <laughs> I mean, I actually like the camera angles. I hate the fact that, uh, <laughs> I hate the fact that I can't just hold forward, that, that the camera angles change the, the direction that your, uh, your character is physically moving in, which is very annoying. Joshua, Joshua. Final Fantasy 16 vibes. Poor helpless unlucky girl, tell me your tale. All right, let's save real quick. Just to make sure we do it. Ren says, uh, howdy y'all. How's the British Child Simulator going? It's all right so far. We haven't really, we've only been playing for a few minutes. It's going okay. Went inside a creepy house, saw a creepy man. Things have been well. Work today was pretty busy, but um, kind of bummed actually. I was gonna record more Final Fantasy 16, but I didn't have time to. I'm so glad. Now we can always be together. Say, I have a favor I wanted to ask. Will you trade your teddy bear with my brooch? Hehe, <laughs> I'm so happy. Ren says, I might have missed the last stream. I had no clue where you are. Uh, this is literally the chapter right after the mermaid. It just brought us here. We should give him a name. How about Joshua? Joshua, yes, that's a wonderful name. I'll cherish him as much as I cherish you. So let's renew our pact. So are we Joshua then? Everlasting true love, I am yours. I guess our name is Jennifer. Maybe we're the J and it wasn't, well, I don't know, because it explicitly called out Joshua. So yeah, maybe Jennifer's a, a manifestation of, of Joshua's mind. Hmm. Okay, we're back on the ship. Who is that? Is that Joshua? You should go back and hang around with Amanda where you belong. Hmm. Okay. October 1930, Rag Princess Sews. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Interesting. This is an emergency. Joshua the bear is missing. Search teams are on the lookout. The person who finds him will receive a red crayon and will be invited to join the aristocrat club. Ray, red crayon aristocrats. This is our chance. Okay. Oh, it's brown. Yay. All right, so we have brown with us. We have the shovel. We have our cleaver. We have access to our inventory again, I think. So we'll probably want to do that when we can. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to go? What is this? A crayon royalty. Oh, we've already been over. We've already been over this. Duchess, Countess, Baroness. Bourgeoisie, poor beggar. Hmm. I don't know where I'm going. I was just going to go to the filth room. But yeah. Why would someone steal something so precious to the princess? Why? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, guess we can go in here. I don't have my map on me, so I don't remember where I am. I don't remember how to navigate this place. Oh, aristocrat luggage. Anything in here for us? I should be using brown to find stuff, but I just don't have anything on me right now. 
Oh, stuff fell over. That's kind of a neat environmental interaction. This game is full of like little environmental interactions like that that are kind of cool. Hmm. I'm sure Joshua will like the story I wrote for him. Okay, is he the one who's been writing all the creepy storybooks then? That makes them very scary drawings. They're not kids' drawings. They're, they're weird old man drawings. Jennifer found Rag Princess. Rag Princess. Look at that little meow meow. Once upon a time, there was a girl who sewed rags day in and day out. The stench of the rags seeped into her clothes. Her stepsisters wore beautiful dresses and went to the ball. The girl stayed home and her jealousy festered. One day, a fairy godmother came, cast a spell upon the girl, and said, Sew yourself an ash gray dress, then you can go to the ball like your stepsisters. The girl patched together the sooty rags, and that's how she became the rag princess, a very stinky princess indeed. She stunk up the whole town, in fact. No girl who stunk so bad would be allowed into the uh, ball. I'll make that girl wear this awful dress myself. And thus the rag princess and the girl in the rag dress became play pals. Huh. Interesting stories for uh, <laughs> a little boy. This is the sewing machine that's going, right? Is she draw is she sewing the rag dress or whatever, the stinky dress? <laughs> we're we're wearing a gray dress. <gasps> What's your problem, lady? Yeesh. Huh. Okay. Oh, I didn't check the thingy. You don't suspect me of stealing it, do you? I know who really took Joshua the bear. It's, um, Wendy. She's always sick in bed. It's got to be her. Was Wendy even a, a character until just now? <laughs> I didn't realize she was part of the group. Hmm. Um... I need to grab my... Actually, let's go to the filth room really quickly. I need to grab my map so I know where we are. If she's always... Uh, did she say she was always sick? Or always sleepy? The gluttonous prince said, The stick I was playing night with broke in half. I wonder where I can find a good stick around here. They're all gonna just speak with like goofy 1930s Chicago gangster accents. I have a new creative decision I've decided. Yeah, let's grab the map. Ooh, what's this? Jennifer found a lollipop, oh hell yeah. Right, I should be uh, searching for other food stuff, but we had to use all of it, so that sucks. Um, I definitely want the biscuit tin. I want the map. Biscuit tin. Close pin. Sock. Airship map. All right, that's fine. Kettle says, oh boy, a lollipop just on the floor. Yummy floor lollipop. Let's save. Oop. Mm. 
wait, the sick the, the sick bay is upstairs, right? That's where the, the creepy doctor guy was. So I guess we just go back up there and see if Wendy's up there. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we can try that. I do want to make what's his name. Okay, he doesn't find any scone, that's fine. Go. He doesn't find anything. I think I've like found everything there is to find, but let's give it a Go. try. Nope. Nothing good. Alrighty, well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Ah, the camera angle. Uh, it came from right here, right? I think so. I dropped my controller. There we go. Good job. I don't remember how to... Oh, it's this way. That's right. Man, I'm like... I'm so... Uh, I, it's been too long since I last played, so I'm like lost at the, the layout of the map. Controller, did it just come unpaired? Okay, all right, we're good. Um, hmm, I think the sick bay is this way, right here. Sick bay. Okay. Um. Is she dead? The lonely princess pleaded tearfully. Oh, Diana and the others came to me just a minute ago, and they accused me, saying I'm the one who took Joshua the bear. How could they think that? Thank you. After promising to take care of him, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Have we already seen these? Yes, we have. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to find Diana and the other girls. The controls got really weird for a second. Uh, are there more rags up here than before? Oh, Diana, exactly who we were looking for, okay. The strong-willed princess tipped her nose up and spoke with an arrogant expression. Jennifer, do you know where Amanda went off to? Oh well, I doubt you'll be much help but run along and join the search for Joshua the bear. 
Hurry up and go. But, <laughs> okay, she's got nothing to say. We've got nothing to say to her. I wanted to check up here to see if we could actually grab this yet. Um. The case is still locked. Huh. Oh, I meant I was trying to talk to her. What's this? Bear's tail. It's a small fur ball, which seems to belong to a stuffed animal. Right, I wanted to talk to her. Stop dilly dallying. Hurry up and go find him. All right, whatever. I guess we'll just. Oh, it's gonna find Amanda. So Amanda stole it. Hmm. What? Was she dragging us? Are we the bear? What? I'm so, I'm so puzzled. That's, that's us, isn't it? That's our model? Yeah, that's us. Huh. Caution, backup power will be activated in the event of a power failure. To restore power after a failure, start generator one in sector 11. What? Mm. Okay, so it's literally on the other side of the ship. Is it this way? I, the thing is, is I don't know where we are in relation. Yeah, I wanted to look at the map. Okay, it wants us to go all the way over here. Sector, wherever Sector 11 is. Sector 11, Maintenance Passage. Okay. Wait, what does Brown want? Ah, the controls. Ah, everything's getting weird. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of the find target for now. Is Diana going to have anything to say? Ooh. It's here. Half biscuit. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Go talk to Jennifer. Or not Jennifer, Diana. The lights just went out. Is someone fooling around with the generator? No, probably. You get into this yet? is locked. I guess we'll never get in there. <laughs> What's this going to find? Is this going to give us more food? That would be sweet. 
I should probably save before we do anything. I don't want to have to rerun through this annoying section, so we'll do that really quick. We'll just stop in the filth room. Filth room. You filthy pigs. All right, let's see. Save. All right. Got a little save. Got a little save done. <laughs>